we have left in the previous one. So next task is retain scroll position when coming back from a blog post. Let me explain what that is. So if you let's say if you scroll down on the website and you clicked on one of the blog items, you get redirected to this new web page. And if you click the go back button, it takes you to the top of the previous web page. Rather than doing this, when I click on something when I, and when I go back, I want it to stay in the in the scroll position. The browser already does this. Google Chrome, when you click back, it takes you back to your previous scroll position, which is pretty nice. And I want to use this functionality of the browser rather than relying on a go back button. I'm going to test this in Safari as well. I'm actually let's test in Safari. Yeah. All right. What does Safari do? So if you click on something and if you click go back, you get redirected to the top of the page. Let's say, okay. Let's if you click on something and if you go back, you get back to this back to the same area as before. Okay. So Safari and Chrome, their behaviors are exactly the same. So. Since the browsers implement this functionality, I think they should be able to make the browsers do it for us. Unfortunately, there's a way for you to do that in React. Okay, so we are going to be implementing that. Cool. So, yep, and let's drag this into here. Cool. So, so. This link. First of all, we don't need a link anymore. We just need a um, button that is going to take us to the previous web page. How shall we start? So, first of all, let's replace this with a button, right? because we want a button behavior rather than a link behavior and we're going to have an on click function in here this is going to be equal to something something so we can get rid of this part and <clears throat> and I've tried this and it works so we're going to copy this paste it back in here but we have to implement, we have to import that to impl import this one. You can do this. You can remove that line now. Right. First of all, let's see if this works or not. Okay, we can fix the first day. But I'm not sure about the second one. Oh. I think the fix was something like this. I have, I'm not sure. No. It wasn't like, oh, okay. I remember it. All right. I remember everything. Yep. Yep, you have to use this. Oops, sorry. Right, with router. You have to export it with router. Did you call these higher order functions? I forgot what they're called. Yeah, they're called higher order functions. So we use this feature as a higher order function to get history in our um, properties here. So I can do this and it's going to find history now, right? History is passed. Now it's going to complain that prop types is not defined, which is cool. All right, when we click go back, we retain the scroll position. Wonderful. So, all right, let's try. Click here, go back, here, back into where we should be perfect and it does the same thing with the okay but i have a, i have another concern so we have history in in here i mean we, we can click back and it would take us to the back uh to the previous page right what if we open a new tab paste it in here 
click go back. Okay, this browser doesn't doesn't help uh, help us with that. Um, so let's do this. Safari does this as well. I do not. What if there's no history in the page? What if history is null? Can we replicate that scenario? Do I have another browser? No. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe if I save this to my bookmarks and open the bookmark in a new tab. Uh, let's just create another folder. Um, new folder. Not there. Can I just... No. Okay, fine, whatever. Actually, I don't want to create a folder in here. That's so stupid. Come on, how do I create a folder in here? Fine, let's put it in other bookmarks. Whatever. Okay. So, if I go to my bookmarks... And if I go to, where is it, other bookmarks? And if I say open a new tab, I do not get a history, right? Yeah, there's no back button. Back button is disabled. That's what I wanted. So what happens? I want to inspect this in the console as well. What happens when I click go back? Nothing. So we need to find a way to check. Well, to be fair, the possibility of someone guessing this link is almost impossible, but anyway, if you have to find a way that the go back function is not null, I mean, the go back function, if it's returning null, uh, all right, okay, okay, let's see. Now first, let's fix this error. So it's complaining that prop types is not defined yet, cool. So you receive a, a property called history, and history is a shape. Prop types dot shape and in here we have a function called go back back yes and this is prop types dot func is required Yep, this is this should be enough. Alright, every area is fixed. Next thing we need to hide this button or replace it with something else if there's no history on the browser. So rather than doing this, let's call a function. Create a function. Uh, Function, let's call it ASDF. It doesn't take an argument and it just has this inside in here. We're gonna have ASDF. Let's call it ASDF. Why is it complaining that it's not defined? I don't get it, but... Okay, you don't do constant functions, do you? I suck at JavaScript. Oh, come on. Constant something equals this. Now I should be able to call that one. No? Oh yeah, oh no, I can't. ASDF is not defined. Oh, it's ADSF. Right, fine. So this is the page without history. Let's not close this one. 
right? So in here, we're calling this function. It's calling history dot callback. What if the uh, printed this? Does it print null if if there's no history on the page? It's undefined, which is better. So if we just print out history, what does this print us? Length one. Oh, it's if it's length one. So in this page, it should it should print at least a length of two. Okay, which is much much higher than two, but history the length. So if this three length equals uh, one, well, actually, uh, most common scenario should be at the top branch optimization, guys. Uh, history dot go back. Greater than one. I guess that works. Is required perfect. And let's add a comma in there. Okay, it goes back in here and it doesn't print anything because it's not getting called. Right. So now what we could do is we can put a semicolon in there and then we could do else. Actually, I'm not going to put the else in here. Else should be here. Else console.log no history in this window. Ah, right. Oh, I have, I'm having keyboard challenges again. Right, okay. Perfect. That's what. It, that's exactly what we want. It says no history in this window. Okay. So what are we missing now? We should replace the button text or we should just eliminate the button completely if if history is yeah so you're gonna have another state in here and it's gonna be called has history set has history and You could put most of the stuff in here. Okay, and in here we're gonna do well we can just have this and else A Boolean. Uh, values first state should be false. It's it's a good programming. Um, how do you call them? It's a good practice. Set has history um, true. So if if the user has browser history more than one, then we set has history to uh, true. So that we know that we're going to add a button here. So I'm going to add this button based on if the user actually. 
no, I'm going to choose between a button and a link depending on where the user is coming from. Right. So it's complaining that we haven't used it. And if it's a button there, we are absolutely and definitely going to call this function. And could do as history question mark if they have history then return this if they don't have history uh, return what we had in the beginning of the stream we can find it and bring it back and let's clean this up let's go back okay fair enough we have to import this it's saying that the link is not defined so in this page we're going to see a go back button in this page we're going to see a sorry go back link and this is going to take us back to the home page this is going to take us back to the previous page this is going to go back to the home page so we're going to replace the content of that oh this is so cool by the way anyway this is the first time i'm doing such a thing uh, so let's go and modify the blog navbar JSON. Yeah, let's. It's fine. The name is just okay. So it's it's not going to be here a title anymore. We're going to call this um, history. Go back label. And and home link. Actually, we don't need this. We can just hard code it, right? No, no, no. Let's just let it just stay there. Fine. Um, home label. Hmm. That's an okay name for now. Let's go back, go back label. Let's open split these vertically, go back to here, and let's use the uh, let's use the new labels. Blog now bar. Um, if it's a button, then it's go back label. Um, the link is home link and blog navbar this is home label well it's blog label now more of let's see right, both of them are buttons now oh okay has a missing dependency history that length Oh, oh, yes, we might have cleaned up some stuff that we used. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, put this in here. Hmm. Right. we have broken something is the server not running is it no it's not that uh, what have we broken this time and how did we break it what did i do what like what possibly could i have done to break this oh 
oh, these are just go back label, blog label, home link. You know what? Let's just start the server again. Like, I haven't seen a time where just starting the server solves a problem, but let's just try it because everything looks absolutely fine and this was working like a couple of minutes ago. Odd, super odd. Whatever. Whatever. Let's replace this with something that we know that will work for sure. Just for now. Let me see if that button prints out ASDF. It does, as you can see in here. So it's something that I'm doing wrong. What if we get rid of this? Okay, that part works at least. This is fine. We don't need this because the initial state is false anyway. Why? What? Why did this break now? Do I have to open this in a new tab or something? Okay, let's close this. Let me open it again. Bookmarks and other bookmarks in here. Open a new tab. Right, okay. So this time it works. And let me go to localhost 3000 again. Okay, it works. This one works as well. I d oh, I see. Hmm. There's a history forward and there's a history backwards. Oh, okay. So this doesn't go anywhere now. This is super buggy. I don't like this implementation. I, I have to perfect this and then it, it's not ready to go yet. What's the history now? Can I just do this? Yes. Um, state something something, who knows what the hell this is. <laughs> Okay, fine. So it has a length of two. Uh, what length does this one have? 27. I, th I feel like I need to come up with something more clever. Right, let's test this again. Let's try to re reproduce the bug. Maybe, maybe I have done something super bizarre. Because to me, it just makes sense. Like it, this, this should work. Okay, I'm a regular person browsing my own website. Click, I click, click onto a blog. I browse this. Maybe, it, yeah. And I read. I finish reading it. I click go back. Yeah, I'm back. Okay, cool. I click on something else, I click go back. Okay, fine. I click on something. Then I click on my Twitter. Then I click back. Oh, what's the problem now? Uh huh. 
that's a huge issue and I don't think this is related with the work that we have been doing issue it's a three story point actually yeah let's go with three everything is a three on my board right now um, let's say press sing back on the browser after clicking a footer icon pressing back on the browser after clicking a footer icon um, breaks the web page Alright, so pressing back on the browser after clicking a footer icon breaks the web page. So it breaks the web page, just this shows why it's. Okay, I'll fix that in one of my next streams. There are so many things to fix. If I refresh the page, it's okay, it's here. Alright, okay. So what if I click back now? Okay, it still works. It's still not as buggy. Right. I refresh the page, click go back, it's fine. I refresh the page in here. Let's refresh it several times, click go back. It's still okay. Refresh the page. I manually enter an address. I click back. Yes, yes, yes. And I click here and I click go back. I click here, I click go back here go back everything is fine all right this is okay this is releasable like I can release this happily um, let's see this oh no I want to open it in a new tab so it doesn't have the history other bookmarks open a new tab so this it displays this label now which is cool which is cool and if I click in this I see that part now. Oh, I see. So I need to determine if there's a way for me to see if there's a forward or backwards history. Because if from here, if I click here and then click go back, it would work. So it's just this part that doesn't work. Okay. Um. Oh, so there's a forward button. Forward method. Um, how do you check? So history that history dot back history dot not go back but maybe we can try this. Can I see what methods this has? Text based directory add um Go forward? Is that a thing? Okay, that's a thing. Can I do this? What does this do? So there's a forward history. If I click here, nothing happens. If I change it to go, oh, it's not found. Oh, okay, it's found, okay. Go forward. If I click this, okay, it works now. 
Well, there's push state, pop state, but I don't want to do like it's. Uh, hmm. Oh, 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 okay. I know what I can do. Oh no, that is a hacky way. So I was going to call both of the methods, but back first and forward second. So if back didn't work, forward, forward would work. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a very good idea actually. So, and if this is undefined, then, then do uh, this three dot go forward. And we could add this to here. And now this is going to work. Amazing. And this is going to work as well. Oof, this is such a hacky way, but I love it. This works so good. This is super clean as well. I'm not sure if there's a better way. Maybe maybe there's some like some sort of method in the history that allows you to do exactly this. But this will work regardless of what browser you're you're in. You don't need to check if the user um like we don't need to check if the user has a forward or backwards history. We can just say go back. If that doesn't work, just go forwards. Amazing. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. So now that that, that task is done, only thing remaining is some colors, some content. Um, most of the new stuff that I'm going to add are not really new um, new features, more of their like content updates. So this map has to change at the back. Uh, the hero area could change. I've taken some new pictures today, but I don't like them. I might take something else later. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a look at the backlog right now, and yeah, not much to do. On on. Uh, but let me show you this one thing. Okay, let's commit these changes, and then go back to full pose. We can merge that to master, but I don't like the styling, so I'm going to fix the styling first and then I'm going to merge that to master, but um, let's check out, no, not, not that. Yes, this one. So this is, um, I've been working on a blog post for QNOT. I haven't finished it, but I want to show you how the blogs are going to look like once they, once I finish um, creating them. So this is the old old version without the colors, like without the update colors. So let's go to the blog area. Actually, I like the navbar color in here better. Um, I might just change it again. So if you click on, let's click on QNOTE. So this is what I'm planning to do for blog posts. Um, I want to make them like five to ten minute reads. I'm gonna add some pictures in here, but they're gonna be long. They're not gonna be like five lines or like this one. It's just two lines. It's a joke. I can do better. Uh, okay, let me merge that back into the into the master branch and I'm gonna add a few tasks to make uh, the links and buttons more beautiful on the top of the navbar. They should be better. And yeah, yeah, that does very good progress. 
All right, um, I'm gonna upload these to YouTube. I'm gonna take like an hour break and then I can, I, I'm probably gonna continue with some, I'm gonna think about how the styling could be. And then I might add some stuff to the QNOT uh, blog template. I could also get that merged into master, but, but I want to keep master like, really as releasable as possible. I want to keep master bug free and yeah, anyway. I may I should maybe create a release branch. Anyway, time to end the stream in here. Um, I might do another stream today, or I might just think about how I'm going to style it, or I can just make content changes. I, I'm not going to stream my content changes because it's just me editing the content and it's boring. This is anyway. All right, bye.